wonderful worship and we heard that uh, uh, from the psalms psalms 100 100 uh, and the, the the verse 3 know ye that jehova he is god it is the heart that made us and we are his we are his people and the sheep of his pasture so we are the sheep of his pasture we are uh, we are here to praise him and worship him our uh, lord almighty uh, uh once again i thank lord for uh, god uh, protected us and uh, provide all our needs as a family to come together as a family come together in god's presence and uh, praise and worship him um we uh, we read in a, um in a uh, the book of john and uh, there was a real story happened uh that uh, when jesus was walking to uh jerusalem he met a uh disabled person who was in the uh, edge of bethesda pool um god knows that you know, he was, he's been there 38 years and uh, god went and asked him that do you mind to be healed would you like to be healed and uh, the person replied that god i've been here for a while but the 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 uh, the water of the pool get stayed nobody is helping to get into the uh the pool when i am getting ready in you know, a someone else jump ahead of me and they get healed god told him yeah, jesus told him that he get, take your mat and you know walk walk and you know he's been healed uh why did i say this story that because um i'm here to uh yeah preach my subject is um restoration uh you all know that uh, uh, the pastor was uh, preaching and teaching uh, almost a month and a half uh, about restoration a uh, couple couple weeks uh, i was getting ready for a small exhortation exhortation and to get ready that but uh, when pastor gave the time someone jumped ahead of me and you know i didn't get the time so i uh, thought god give a another chance uh to me to uh, speak the same subject uh i'm not complaining about you know who jumped <laughs> jumped ahead ahead of me but uh, what i'm saying and excuse that you know why i'm speaking this subject uh today so anyway god's word is not uh old you know any any time when you read and meditate it renew our heart and god's word is always renew our heart and uh, uh give more uh, many, many thoughts in our on our life applicable to in our life so i just want to uh speak about restoration uh, uh, my um uh, i based on the uh, the word uh, that is from uh, psalms 51 verse 12 that god was uh crying sorry the david was crying let me take that verse uh 51 12 uh um, the david was crying to god that lord restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me within the willing spirit the reason why uh why david was crying to god is that you know when when the when when uh, uh, he did the sin against god uh, he lost that joy of salvation from his heart so he was asking o oh lord restore me in your uh, restore unto me the joy of thy salvation so i will come back into into that uh, portion later but uh, i just want to continue what is restoration restoration means uh, you all know that you know we we learned that in our restoration so uh, i hope you know you will understand what i'm speaking today uh, i just want to ask questions and you know get the reply from you but uh, uh, and to save time you know i just uh, uh want to uh, to continue uh continue my subject so what is a uh, restoration means there is two two uh, meaning of restoration uh, the first is the action of retaining something to a former owner and the second meaning is bring back something to the original shape we all know that uh, 
uh, the action of returning something to a former owner. Uh, you, you all know that uh, we, uh, yeah, in uh, I think it is 19, uh, about the, tit the ship of Titanic, uh, it lost uh, the first journey from New York to uh, London. Uh, I think it was in 1912, uh, he sunk in the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, people don't have any, any, any information about that, uh, that ship for a long time. But a couple of decades ago, they found it under the uh, uh, sea floor. And uh, people are trying to uh, bring back that ship, but it didn't happen yet. Um, then I was uh, checking that who was the owner of that uh, 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 the, the ship. Uh, when I googled it, I found that, you know, as a um, American tycoon, uh, J.P. Morgan was the owner of that ship. Uh, he's passed away and uh, maybe his children and uh, grandchildren maybe still living. And you know, we know that J.P. Morgan is a big banking company, you know, so maybe their, their families are there. So how it would be happy that, you know, if that ship bring it back to them, uh, they will be very, very happy that, you know, uh, the lost ship it came back to uh, in their hands. So uh, the second thing was uh, bring back something to the original shape. We all know that you know we are from Kerala. Uh, Hundred years back or 120 years back, you know people made a wonderful house, you know, with the the wood of mahogany and teak wood, uh, made a wonderful houses and. Uh, People keep it, maintain it, and you know they want to restore it. If you go to visit, you know some of the area of Kerala, you know we can see that house is still there because you know they restore that. Uh, you know that you know Taj Mahal is one of the uh, one of the seven wonders of the world. Uh, government is uh, spending millions of rupees to maintain or restore that uh, uh, monument uh, in a, in a good shape. The same way, what, what when we look on that, what is the meaning of restoration biblically that we can found in the, in the book of Genesis, God created human being. Uh, God created Adam and Eve. And uh, he is the owner of us. He is the creator of us. So once we lost uh, from, from, the, from, the, uh, from, from him, he is trying to uh, restore us back. He want the ownership of us and he want bring us back to the same shape when we were uh, in that paradise or you know the Adam and Eve. That's what God was expecting. Restoration means you know to bring back the same shape uh, and uh, bring back to the ownership to him. So all the uh, restoration is means that you know God is what he's doing uh, to bring us back and to bring our shape back what God wants to be or it was the originally uh, we were. So we, we know that you know uh, we are the human is the masterpiece of uh, God's creation. He created everything before uh, he created Adam and Eve. Uh, we know that you know um, why God did that you know we know that you know uh, uh, some of the new generation, generation parents uh, by the way, congratulations, Divya. Uh, new generation parents uh, are letting know that you know she is pregnant, and uh, they started to buy stuff. You know, they buy stuff, uh, the toys and dresses, and some people even buy houses and separate a room for their baby, because they are inviting that baby into into this new world. It's a very ha a joyous uh, uh, moment. Is that? So same way, God, before he created Adam and Eve, you know, he created everything, whatever they needed for them, and they created Adam and Eve. So uh, God, uh, human are the masterpiece of God's creation. Uh, so we can re read that from the word that, you know, uh, chapter 1, uh, uh, chapter 1, Genesis chapter 1, 27 to 31, human Humans are molded by his own hand and in his own image. Everything else God created by with his words. 
God bless the man, verse 28, and give all the authority and uh, uh, all the our authority over everything. And God gave them a lifestyle for health, verse 29. And God pronounced us good, in verse 31. So what a wonderful creation uh, that uh, he uh, created a human uh, in, into that paradise, in the, in, the, in the heaven. But all of a sudden, in the intimacy and the relationship and the fellowship has broken between man and God. They lost all the privilege and uh, uh, privileges as a ch ch children of God. They lost all the glory of God from them because they did sin to God. So I just want to portray uh, portray that uh, the the first rest 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 restoration happened in the in the paradise, and uh, how did the sin came to uh, Adam's and Eve's life? So uh, what was the sin uh, Adam and Eve did? What is, what is the sin? What is the sin? Uh, in the in the verse uh, chapter uh, two Genesis chapter two verse sixteen we say God commanded the man, you are free to eat from any trees in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, for when you eat from it you will certainly die. In the verse twenty uh, 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 ch chapter two verse nine we can see that it two three different kind of trees over there. The first one, the tree pleasant to the sight and uh, good for food. That is the uh, God grows all kind of trees to, uh, to survive uh, Adam and Eve there. That is the first uh, first trees. The second trees it says the tree of life. In the midst of that garden there was a tree of life. Tree of life represent that God's wisdom and the knowledge of God. And uh, uh, you, you know that, you know, uh, when we study about uh, uh, the attributes of God, there are main uh, three uh, main attributes of God. That is, God is omnipresent. He, his presence is everywhere. Uh, and he is uh, omniscient. He has the whole knowledge and wisdom. And uh, omnipotent is anything and everything God can do. That's the three attributes. So. The second uh, tree, the tree of life represents the knowledge and the wisdom of God. And uh, the third tree uh, says that uh, uh, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Uh, let's see what is the, uh, why, why did God told Adam and Eve do not eat uh, from that tree? Uh, the, uh, the knowledge of good and evil. We all wanted to be independent in our life. Once we were dependent to our, our parents, but uh, when we grow up, uh, when we uh, mature, uh, when we get a job and we started earning and, you know, we married and, we, you know, uh, we, we separated from parents and uh, uh, we want, we came independent. Many of us are in, independent, but uh, some of are not still. So what, what, uh, what we are trying to say, our children also, uh, to be independent, you have to be independent, you know, study, study work and uh, you find a job and you earn money and I want to see that, you know, you standing on your feet, then I wanted to uh, retire or, you know, I want to enjoy my life and I want to do my own business. That's the way we be telling our, uh, in a worldly life, you know, we telling our, our children or, you know, that is our, our, our philosophy. But God's philosophy is not like that. He wanted us to be dependent on him forever or all the time even though we growing mature in spirit or we are matured in spirit god wanted us to be depend on him because 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 that the way god created us that's the way god wanted us we all know that you know we have a, a three parts in in us that body body mind and spirit so it is all connected. It's all connected, and you know we are in a in in, in it's a personality comes like that. So when we look on uh, on the on the on on New Testament or in olden time, 
uh, the temple has that three part of uh, three parts first one is the altar holy place and the most holy place so when people come and worship god god uh, god's almighty presence came into that uh, most holy place and uh, revealed to the people and blessed the people so then people get uh, 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 people get blessed uh, so, so it is the same way we are we, we are living we are, we are the living uh, temple of god god is uh, living in in our soul he is communicating with, uh, with our spirit 24/7 and he lives in us we don't feel to do any sin if he lives in our soul we don't follow the desires of the desires of the world so he wanted to live in our our soul so he wanted to full control on, on our, our 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 mind and soul and our body so uh, we we become a, a become a slave of christ save slave of god so we cannot do anything without his permission we cannot do anything our own we cannot do anything against the holy spirit so god wa- wa- want us uh, the uh, 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 the full control on uh, c- control on us not 50 50 not 60 40 not 99.9 god wants full control in uh, 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 in in our in our life so that is uh, so when, when we read in uh, 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 romans uh, chapter 6 17 uh, I, don't, i don't have time to read all those so i just want to go fast uh, we used to be slaves of the uh, of the uh, used to be slave of satan you know it's a the slavery is a it's a hard title as a hard word and it is is being a slave is very hard too because that the slave has no 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 rights no freedom he has to do all what the master asking asking him to do and uh, he cannot stop he cannot say uh, that I, I, it is hard i cannot stop I, i don't know what to do that and at the end you know there is no reward whatever you do it's free you know you, you don't you don't get any reward so once we were under the yoke of the satan but our gracious god saved us from that yoke and put his yoke on yoke of righteousness in in our shoulder so when when we say that you know when god was uh, uh, god saved us uh, he didn't make, made us free and you know he didn't let go to whatever want what we want or whatever we wherever we want to go he didn't do that but he put his yoke on our our shoulder so that is the reason uh, god told uh, to adam and eve that you, know, you don't need to know the distinction between the good and evil just uh, obey me what i ask you to do and he is doing everything good for us so god t- told uh, adam and eve you don't have to worry about it you don't have to we have a, uh, a tendency that you know we anything we hear or anything we do we need to find that is that good or not we have a make a, a, a tendency that you know say that is good or not but as a child of god is god is controlling us that god ask you to do something you know you don't have to you don't have a right to ask that you know is that good do i need to do or not if you obey that that's god's will so that is the reason that is, that is what you know god wants adam and eve but uh, unfortunately that uh, the sin came to the, in their life and uh, uh, they the spiritually they died they died spiritually so what was the sin adam and uh, eve did they disobeyed disobeyed god's command uh, i have heard that you know people are questioning that you know why uh god you know punished them you know because it's a small uh thing happened you know it's a small mistake why did uh god did that you know god is love we say the god is love and god is gracious and god is merciful then why did he do that if you want answer for that we need to understand what is sin is we always categorize the sin is a big sin or small sin 
even these these days you know we don't hear about the sin people say that you know it is a weakness where people bring it simplifies that you know it is a weakness you know that is not a sin so we need to know that what is sin uh, a sin is any thought or action that falls short of god's will god is perfect and anything we do not uh, anything we do that falls short of his perfection is a sin and all sins are equal to god's sight so don't categorize the big sin or small sin uh the every sin has a, a consequences so bible says in second corinthians chapter 5 10 for we must all appear before the judgment seat of christ so that each of us may receive what is due us for the things done while in the body whether good or bad so let's examine all of us this morning whether what we doing is good and a pleasing to the will of god uh let's come back to the uh the paradise let's look how did how the sin came down to adam and eve's life uh in genesis chapter 2:15 we read and jehovah god took the man and put him into the garden of eden to work work it and uh, take care of it god has plan uh, and purpose for uh, each one of us he gives each one of us his will and responsibility we are accountable to the master what he entrusted on us even though we are the children of god we are the slaves of righteousness slaves of christ so we must fulfill his will uh we cannot carry two yokes we we cannot serve two masters at the same time so still devil is trying to sneak in our life bringing temptation in our life he wanted to steal us from from the hand of christ he wanted to destroy us and to kill us and satan is coming into our life very tactically even though he is a liar a cheater uh he comes to to he he approaches he approaches us uh very 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 nicely and we come and you know uh what is intention is what is his intention is he wanted to carry us back slowly and his yoke but uh, god freed us from uh from the yoke of uh, satan and you know he put his uh, 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 um, jesus or christ yoke on us even though we are uh, uh, we say that you know the children of god you know we we all go through this temptation in our life uh, we we uh, temptation comes in our life and you know uh, we may do sin but what is satan is trying to do that you know to lead us into under his yoke so how did uh, uh, satan tempted adam and eve first first of all the adam and eve forgot the responsibility that god put put on them to work and keep the garden so whatever the situation we go whatever the busy life we we are what are the position we are what are the situation we go don't forgot forget the will of god and don't forgot the responsibility god entrusted us the second thing we can understand that in you know, adam became the influence by the temptation as we are living this flesh we have we have to face temptations temptation comes from from our flesh we know that you know we have a uh, the, the the body from from body you now we have five organs in our eyes and ears and and tongue and skin uh, the temptation comes through that but we must to resist to the tactics of the devil and they do not fall into that temptation in the book of matthew 4 we read that you know even satan came to uh, tempt jesus and uh, uh, jesus rebuked satan and he flew away from him same way we must uh, rebuke the satan when the when he brings temptation in our life we must be strong in our faith to understand who we are we should 
ever uh, we should wear the armor of god to resist the re- uh, evil in ephesians chapter 6 11 uh, verses 11 says put on the whole armor of god that we may be able to stand against the wiles of devil the third thing satan bring doubts doubts to us and uh, bringing his own philosophy and justification into our heart uh we see that you know verse uh, uh genesis chapter 3 verse 1 satan asked eve did you really say did god really say you must uh, you must not eat from any trees in the garden uh we are living in a in a, in a sinful world in a open world like this this in our generation everything is convenient and uh, accessible accessible us to do sin many times satan bring this same question when we tempted to each one of us that the god is really said is that the word of god is really mean that when we the temptation come to us you know satan bring to that same question to us you know is that what bible says the same way or or god did uh, say, say said that but uh, uh he's trying to bring his own philosophy and justification to make a, make us to do sin god's word are god's word it never changes it is immutable it is permanent in heaven we cannot change or interpret in our own way no one can add or take away anything from the word of god if they do they will be punished in the book of revelation we read that uh, chapter 22 verse 19 and if anyone takes a word away from the from this scroll or prophecy god will take away that person any share in the tree of life and in the holy city and uh, let's look on a uh, uh, the verse 35 uh uh genesis again genesis uh, uh, chapter 3 verse 5 uh, the second part of uh, verse 5 for god knows that when you eat from it your eyes will be open and you will be like god knowing good and evil so i uh, know that uh, my time is going up uh so he- here we can see that uh, uh there uh, uh, many times we think that or doubt that you know what satan is telling us is true but he is a liar he uh, is he uh, is uh, he is misleading and uh, his mis- misconception made us to do sin so this that, that's the reason you know uh, uh, he fell into his temptation that you know uh, he thought that what what he is saying is true that what satan told if that you know if he eat this fruit you, you your eyes will open and you will be like god so so she ate the fruit uh, she ate the forbidden fruit and you know to share his to her husband adam they both committed sin to god so uh they both both of their eyes were opened and they realized that they were naked is that a, that's true when uh, satan told them that you know their eyes is going to be open yes it is open but uh they they could not be a, like god but they know each other that you know they were sinful men sinful body and they were naked so they sewed a fig leaves together and they cover their nakedness to uh, uh uh to cover their nakedness so the garment was not enough to cover their sin in front of god it was okay to cover for their uh, for, for their each other and to the other people they could uh, hide their nakedness but in the uh, but uh, but in front of god when uh, they could not hide their sin but when when we when god look at us he is not looking at our outward garments or outward body rather he looks in our inner garments is that holy is that clean is that spotless because he wanted to live in us 
So let me cut down, you know, but the time is going, uh, going down. So, so this morning, um, God punished them. So that's the reason God punished them. Uh, I, 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 didn't, uh, I was looking on that and I could not find that, you know, when Adam and Eve uh, um, uh, sinned, they did, they did get a chance to, uh, to ask for forgiveness. Because God was with, with them. They have everything. God's presence was there. God was with them. But still they did sin against, uh, against God. And uh, God didn't give a chance to forgive them. But, uh, 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 but uh, uh, the gracious God uh, punished them. Kick, uh, expelled from the, from the garden. But uh, our God is again is gracious. And he gave a... He did, he did a sacrifice over there when Adam and Eve was trying to, uh, you know, hide their nakedness with the, with the, with the leaves of uh, fig. It was not enough to cover their inner sins, what they did to God. So God did a sacrifice in, uh, in there to cut an, cut an animal and take the skin and to make a garment for the righteousness for them. That was the first sacrifice. Uh, for, that's the first uh, restoration happened in the paradise. So the, this morning, that is, it is symbolizes that that uh, Jesus Christ is sacrificed for our life, our our sins, and He came that uh, in this world saved us from all our sins. So uh, He He re re restored us uh, with His blood, and we become uh, the children of God. So as we living in this, uh, in our flesh, we may tempted to do sin against God. The temptation in our life is not different from Adam and Eve's, Eve's life. But what, what should we do is, in case we sin, uh, uh, in case the sin came into our life, do not try to hide the sin from the God. Instead, cried out like uh, David cried. Uh, let me come back to the uh, words I read. Uh, uh, Psalms 51 12 uh, God, uh, David was crying to God God when David was sinned and you know he lost the joy of salvation is that joy of salvation can be restored yes if you come to God uh, you come to Jesus and ask ask God cry out God God restore me the joy of salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me uh, confess our sins and repent of our wrongdoings Look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. Trust in, in the promises of God. Forget the past and look forward to what lies ahead. Rely upon the Lord and his mighty strength. May God bless you with these words.